what is the main gap that needs to be covered in, in modernizing the core banking services? But it's really making the engines API available uh, and, and, and modularizing it in such a way that every bank and every part of the bank can construct the customer journey set that, that they're looking for and, and really linking that into all the other systems that the banks have. When you think about kind of more legacy core banking systems, mm-hmm. then they're very monolithic. And, and oftentimes, unfortunately, still not 24-7, which if you think yeah. about open banking, if you think about real-time payments, and the you 21st often century. find <laughs> that banks have to actually put a system in front of their core banking that does authentication and authorization in real-time versus the monolithic banking uh, engine that they have in the back. And, and today, still, a, a lot of banks you know, build those core banking en- engines, um, you know, I would say in the 70s uh, yeah. and have kept them alive. Um, and, and that is, is, it's a huge burden and it's standing in the way of some of the, uh, the modernization that is required. <laughs>